Hi everybody. So let's start with a really nutritious and I think this is a fairly easy recipe to get going. I do like to make a lot of soups so that I can see what goes in them and for me it's uh, a good part of getting uh, my veg inside me because I tend to like to eat just with one one spoon or one one fork so really good way to to achieve that. So I chopped up one onion heated up a small knob of butter in a pan and just fried the onion and then put the lid on on a very low heat just to sweat it a bit and that took about 10 minutes once that was sweated I added into that a heaped teaspoon of ground coriander now don't worry if you've not got the coriander um, I just use that in other recipes that I'm hopefully going to, to show you I chopped up a large carrot I also chopped up a courgette and added in a good amount of liquid into the pan just to cover the onions and to cover up the chopped carrot. Boiled that for about 13 minutes just to make sure that, that was, the carrot was boiling away quite nicely. Uh, then I added in the chopped courgette and gave that a further 5 minutes. I, I find that courgette does not need you know, it, it certainly doesn't need as much cooking time as the carrot does, for example. Now, normally, I start a soup off with uh, a few potatoes. In this case, I was just using up some potatoes that we already had. So, you'll see on the plate, I just took uh, two halves of a fairly small potato, chopped it up, added it in uh, towards the end. Um, I also added in, again, you won't need to do this, I'm just showing you, I added in a small amount of broccoli. Um, just because that was sitting there in the fridge looking quite lonely. So I've got my veg, I've boiled everything. Once I was happy that it was all cooking away quite nicely, I then added in an unsalted stock cube. You probably notice that I don't like to, to use uh, a lot of salt, or I certainly don't like to add a lot of salt unless the recipe calls for it. Um, before I blend it, I always give it a, a bit of a taste. Um, sometimes I'll add in freshly uh, ground pepper as well but we've got a Bamix so I just now blended everything down um, as you're going through if you've never made soup before um, probably don't go overboard with the water so it's much easier to add water even when you're blending it if you think that it's it's far too thick add in then some uh, either cold or boiling water you know depending upon if you're going to eat it straight away um, and this made me about three ramekins worth of soup so plenty there to go down um, as a as a light lunch with a few slices of brown bread and I think that ticks up all the healthy boxes so I hope this has been useful I just enjoy making very simple recipes nothing very um, very complicated for me um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you, take care, stay safe.